Hi everyone, welcome in if you're new, and welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, this is going to be a one-off video for Transport Fever 2. Um, so we're playing on a very small map. We have only three cities. Um, everything is pretty standard. Um, we are playing with infinite money though. Um, because we're just planning to do one thing today. And that is to make a giant transport hub. I've intentionally chosen this map because there is a nice river up the middle. Um, there's a nice area here that's kind of near a city um, that we can use as our transport hub. Yeah, um, so we'll be able to get trucks and trains and ships uh, all working there together. We may even move it down here um, or onto the inside. Probably not there. Um, yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, we've also got sandbox mode on, so we can place new cities or towns as they're called, to place new industries as we need them. Um, we'll come to that a bit later. Um, we'll probably end up speeding up fair chunks of uh, this because I don't know how long it's going to take. I was starting in the year 2000. Um, I don't remember any other settings that we, we had that were relevant. Um, but up here is where we're going to be uh, spending most of our time uh, building a giant Maybe we'll do it here to give the city or the town a bit more room to expand It's just not quite as close to the like, corner But in reality a giant um, Maybe we'll do it here instead Let me move this Rename, pin, configure. Yeah, this is kind of in the way. So we're going to leave it in this general area, um, but not there. We, we're going to build our transport hub right here. Maybe we'll rebuild it first so that we're rebuilding the same thing. It is steel. That looks like the same thing. Um, where's a good spot for it? Maybe over there. And we'll get rid of this one. And it's right. Um, so this is where our transport hub is going to be. We're going to start off with a cargo harbor. We want large. I thought about saying four. Let's not. Let's just say one. And we will uh, build off of it. So how far back can we go? We have infinite money. Let's just build it out here. And then smooth everything out. Now we're going to configure it. How many docks do we need? I don't know. We're going to make it fairly sizable. And then let's put some of these on here. We need to get rid of that landing. I can't get rid of that landing dock. Oh yeah, I can. I was just clicking in the wrong spot. Right there, right there, and there. Um, and then, it's miscellaneous. Oh, passenger entrance. Okay, sure. Let's put a bunch of docks on here. So we've got 10 there to start. We can put another main building, which might make sense. Like a bit further down this end. We delete the original one. We can do that. Good. And then maybe another one down this end. So there's a nice big uh, cargo harbor to start. Oh, there's some road there. Ooh, we can't delete that bit of road. Because that's what everything's connected to. Interesting that that's what it's based on and not 
um, like any of this other stuff. Okay, we can work around that. Um, we do need to like fix along here though. So let's get our terrain tool. Let's make this big. We'll pick that height, flatten along here. So, at this end, and then let's just smooth off around the corners, so it's a bit less ugly. There we go. And it kind of looks like it happened here at this end. Something went a bit wrong there. Level. We need to like come out a bit more. Smooth this off. We just level it to somewhere in the water. And at this end, we can smooth this off a bit. Done. One nice cargo terminal. Not connected to the road though. So let's connect it to the road. Now you'll see I've got lots of different road types here. Uh, I'm using a mod um, to give more road types. Uh, we may or may not use it today. We'll see. So let's upgrade. Wait, I can't upgrade that section. Interesting. That's where this footpath thing comes in. Okay, so let's just give footpath the whole way along then. We can't add another one there. Hmm. Why wouldn't you let me add one there? something with the way that I put the... Maybe it was just the way something was put there. There we go. Now we've got this giant footpath along the back there. Um, we'll decorate in here with something uh, later. Um, we need a road then. It goes along the side there. So, now it will need a, like a truck depot of some sort, so we are going to get a truck station, uh, 30 meters, are we going to be picking up or dropping off, I've literally got no idea. This is interesting with the truck station, I don't know how I actually want to build it. Whether we want long platforms or several short platforms. Uh, let's just make them a little bit longer then. But before we do that, we should make sure... take out those truck darn it bigger buildings okay, let's put this here then bigger um want these to be a bit longer that'll do Get a couple more. And 
this side as well. So we want the street and en entrances here. But this central center one will be an entrance and an exit. And these are exits. Uh, this is an exit. These ones will be entrances. That will do for now. Five platforms. Didn't level the area up though. Should be okay. We will just get Let's see if we can't bring too much slope. Of course. That annoys me. Is there too much slope? It shouldn't be. I guess it is kind of a bit, a bit steep there. Maybe we can run a parallel road along here. And then the same on this side. So that all of these truck entrances and exits aren't on the main road. They're on uh, like these little side roads. That should be okay. But out here though, I think. symmetrical stuff. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's just make these ones out here. Uh, big boy roads. Probably that spot there. And there too. And here? Sure, why not? No, that one doesn't need it. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. That kind of turned into a bit of a debacle. But they're not connected. So we need to... What's going on there with that road? Well, we do need to connect them. Yeah, that's a bit nicer. And if we come out here like this, maybe we'll curve this one now. Okay, that's not anything like what I wanted. Okay, there we go. Now they're connected. Wonderful. We'll have to come back to that. Kind of a bit weird. And over here, we want a cargo station. Uh, it will actually be a terminal. Sure, let's go high speed, long, massive number of platforms. Now this, I think... Yeah, no, that's... I don't know what I'm saying. That's okay. But we will need to decorate this a, decorate this a bit. But before we do this, Let's do the smart thing and flatten some area for it. So that it's already at this road level. Do we need eight platforms? I don't know. Seems like a good number to start with though. Look at that. It's just like completely cut into the Figure this. Oh, it won't let me add any more on this side. I wonder why that is. We can keep booting out to the left, that's okay. Uh, 
platforms, cargo platform. That. And we want some more track. Yeah, I wonder why it wouldn't let me build out to the right more. Maybe it's just how the like that starting that starting one works. Okay, so this is the end now. This is as far as we can go single train station. Let's think of us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12 tracks. That's pretty good. Um, let's build a large side building adjacent to the main building. Like that. Then we want a small building and then let's get a couple of small ones as well. Now again, you remember that from a previous video we looked at painting the ground. So we want snow asphalt. We'll make our brush size a bit smaller. Yeah, that kind of looks like the right color. I'm going to paint out to the I don't know why you can't paint these bits here, it kind of annoys me. I keep paint right out the edge of the station. We can go square. Okay. I don't know if that's any better. Maybe it is. There we go. So we've got our train station, we've got our truck station, we've got our ship all there together. Let's just level out this ground here now around the station where we demolished it. Done. Now we really don't want full lines going into here. So we're actually going to pick Maybe these two here as the two main, uh, the two main line. So I want to stay. Okay, so we don't want that going into a tunnel. Looks like we've got more excavation work to do. bit not level out. And we also want to get rid of all of the, uh, the trees and whatnot in here. We can probably do that along here too, but we'll leave them for now. We might come back to those later. Okay, now here. We just want these to go straight. We're actually going to turn this into a switch yard or set of sidings essentially. So from here, how do we want to do this? I think I want to go from the outside track. Don't let me snap into this one. So what if we start in this one and go to there? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and now the rest of these lines are going to bring in kind of as straight as we can. Go straight to like there. And then do that. This one we follow to 
So we might just pull it all the way in. No, it doesn't. So we'll go straight to like here again. And then we'll start to curve it in. I feel like there has to be a, a, a neater way of doing of doing this. I don't know, but it works. Um, if you know how to do that better, uh, let me know. So here we're going to come from roughly the same location on the track. Come out this way. Can we build these going back the other way? Maybe that's the that's the key. So if we line this up here. Yeah, that didn't work. If we go back the one. That also didn't work. Like I'm trying to line up. So where did this one start? It started like Here. So if we go from there to there, I think it's because it had that other track to help guide it. Maybe. So if we were to say start here and go to there. We need to bring these out a little bit. And now we'll start like here and go to there. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And then can we start here and go No. But if we start over there, snap on that please. not what anyone wants. Okay, I guess we can do this one going back that way. I thought this we can push it into there. The next one from here. Yeah. Doesn't quite look right, does it? Maybe we can follow that to there. And can we get a... There we go. Done. So we've got a set of switch yards here. Coming into our station, are all being fed by two lines. Now those two lines uh, need a way to cross between each other. So we we'll set that up out here. Wonderful. There is our station area. All set up and organized to bring stuff into here. Now, we actually need to start organizing some goods. How much have we even spent? 36 million so far we've spent. And we've earned zero. I think that we probably like, fuel is always a good, um, 
a good resource to start with. The same with food. So we've got food here. Well, because we've already got food here, maybe we'll just start with food. Um, now how we're going to do this is uh, food can go by train to here. And then we'll send it by train down to the hub. Ooh, they're not connected. The station and the train line are not connected. Which means... We need to extend our little uh, bypass road here. There we go. Now the station and the train are connected. The train's connected to the um, truck. The ship is connected to both of them. Okay, so I'll fast forward you through this bit uh, whilst we set up our, our train connection from the farm to the food to our uh, hub. Okay, just breaking in now, um, I put our train station over here initially, um, and then I decided how we're we going to actually get it connected into the rest of the network. So I came back over to our station and started building uh, like the main line that will run uh, past our um, terminal, and just putting in some siding uh, like turnouts there. Uh, but we've got this weird clipping issue. Uh, here at our tunnel entrances. So we're going to delete all of them. We're going to again do some groundwork to just flatten this back a bit. Then put the tracks back in. Uh, just to split up the tunnels a bit, a bit more. Uh, now you can see that looks really, really ugly. So we are going to smooth this a bit. It still looks kind of ugly, so let's flatten at that like top level. Hmm, interesting. So let's delete those again. Now let's flatten back here. And then we'll put these back in. Maybe it's just how the, the tunnel entrances work. I don't remember them ever looking uh, so gaudy like that. Oh, well, it just must be how they are. So let's smooth that out a bit. Uh, we can come down here and smooth this cell out as well since we're, since we're doing it. We need to fix up the, the grass and whatnot. So we paint grass. Which is the grass we want? Not dark green. Light green grass. Grass green. Some combination of these. Uh, brush size. We can make this way bigger. Makes way faster. Done. If only grass grew that quickly in real life. It's, um. Or maybe it's this forest ground. It's neither of those. Well, 
that's all the options we've got. I guess we'll go back to this. Maybe strength lower. We then come through with this other one and just kind of like dot it about. Maybe the soft edge. That might that looks a bit better, doesn't it? I guess so. When you're down low it does. So yeah, that's just getting those in. Oh. And now we have to get our, our food, uh, the grain, sorry, from up here down to here. Um, so again, we're going to go into fast forward. We'll catch you soon. I guess we can say that it's for like flood, um, flood prevention. Now from here, so that we get our grain and whatnot into here, but we need a, we need to actually connect the siding up. That will not do at all. will come in a little bit like that and then we'll go around. I don't know why it like puts this little wall here but I don't know how to get rid of it. Okay so that's that end done. We need to deal with this end as well and get it back into the main line. I think we might actually uh, bring it off of this, uh, this siding. So then there's only one connection back onto the main, the main rail track. Uh, let's take the outside one first. Can we, cut, can we actually just go up to there? We need this one first. I don't expect this to work. Yeah. Over here, it will let us do that. How far out down here can we stretch this? go to like there and it's not unhappy. Let's do this side as well. We need to get our side back connected in. No, 
up here. We said that it just went to the one, uh, to the, like that left track. We actually need it to go across both. We're down here we can connect this into the, the main track or well, the main side track anyway Siding up here. Uh, let's just smooth this out a bit. See if we can make it a bit nicer. Out up here into our bread area. Um, now, to, to get the bread into the city, we could just take it there directly. But we're not going to do that. We're going to take it to the um, cargo area and then from the cargo area over into. To the city. So, uh, building, we only need one. Let's put it down this end here, like this. So, it's going to back up onto the Railway line, which is fine. It's not like we can really use that for anything else. And then on here, get our little one way streets to connect this in, this into here. Done. Now from there, we need to get over to there. Here is our main uh, road coming out of there. So, we can. I'm just thinking, like, you know, we don't want to do anything super fancy here. So let's just take this and bring this over to. Does it make sense? This should probably connect into here as well. Um, does it make sense for this road to go directly to the food area? Not really. It makes more sense for the road to go directly to the city. I think we're going to come in at this end of the city. Let's come out this way like this. To there. And then from there, well, over here, we're going to put a terminal there. Maybe this is just small road for this little bit here and it expands out into a big road. Um, now you can see that it, it does weird things here. Uh, we're gonna fix that in a moment. So let's just come across there and now we're going to, uh, you know I like tunnels, uh, we're actually going to bridge this time. 
So we've got the bridge mods that come as part of um, uh, that uh, road thing as well. So let's go thick pylons. But that's too far back. So we can come up a bit closer. Maybe we can even go up up here a bit first, then come over, staying level. Why doesn't it want to bridge that? Maybe just because I didn't bridge. I like it up, go up here enough. I guess we can do something like, oh, hold on, if we say no pillar and just bring it a bit closer, how far down, what's the lowest we can make it? Okay, now let's get fancy with our... about that. But if we then say smooth, smooth this side. Still not great, is it? Can we raise this first and There we go. Except it's not quite uh, even on both sides. So if we were to come in here and say level at that height. Hopefully now, that means that if we connect from here to there, and we say we want Okay, so that won't even let us connect it anymore. Why game? Sometimes the things you do just confuse me. Like that's where we want the bridge. Okay, so now we've got the bridge icon. It won't let us do any of that. Why won't you let me do any of that? Huh. 
really taking it. bridge and then we can come down here maybe like that maybe demolish those trees and this way to there like so no traffic lights no traffic lights there either Okay, now remember I mentioned about this bit here, oh my goodness, look at that drop, before, we are going to resolve all of that, first of all let's just move that out, and in our road tools we have some of these modules let you go from different road sizes to different road sizes. Oh, now I don't remember which one is which. See, that's separating. We're just like adding lanes. This turns a two lane into a three lane. It's not that. It's not that or that. Hmm, maybe there isn't one that. They keep, oh, they keep snapping to that, that thing underneath. Okay, so that's for an overpass. That's for an overpass. Oh, that's another overpass. Like, we want two lanes into... Four lanes. Like this is the kind of thing we want, but it's like it's for high, like they're all for highways. So maybe there isn't a way. Uh, when I say highways, I mean like uh, one, one way highways. So I guess we're just kind of like stuck with this, unfortunately. I thought there was a way. Do it itself. No, it didn't. You see, I think this is it. But it's taking. Like, it takes a one. No, I don't think. I don't think there's a way. That to do what we're trying to do. So we'll just go back to what we had before. Which is a bit of an ugly intersection, but it is what it is. 
Unless we were to split this into two one-way roads, I don't think it's worth it um, for what we have now. Now this road here may be worth it. Let's start moving some goods. We've spent a long time talking. We're just going to bung this here because it will do the job. But we haven't put in signals yet. Okay, yes, we want to auto signal. We want these at 450 meters. Our junction is at here. Can I go like that? And back the other way. That's the only bit of track that we need to, like that we have to signal at the moment. It would probably be good to signal this part as well. Okay, so that's that side done. Let's get some grain trains. What do we got? It's not going very fast, so it's not going to get up to a very high speed. So let's maybe take... Wait, you're faster and... Oh, you don't have as much power. Oh, we always use the 246. Let's go with the 246. And we want some gondolas. Probably not many, a hundred will do for start. By that, we haven't defined the line. Let's define the line. This is a train line. And it is grain to go from there to there. We'll color it yellow. I don't think we're going to say where they're going from because there's only one of each of them on the map. You go yellow, go on that green food line. And now we want truck line, food to the, let's call it a depot. So this is a depot line, let's colour them this purpley type colour. So from there to there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And this end makes sense. At Gladstone, we do want to wait for a full load. Actually, no, no, let's just go. We need a truck depot somewhere. Let's put the truck depot off of this, off of this road. lights up here. I tried to. Okay, so we're moving red. Okay, so this has a higher capacity. It costs a bit more. We'll just get one for now. We'll color it that pinky type color. And the food to depot line. And then we need to deliver that food into Gladstone. Let's come in here. This will be a main road, so let's upgrade it right now. This will be like a side road, so we'll upgrade it like that. We just killed several of their things, but what can we do? So let's drop off 
there. And we're not going to worry about it. Having a loop come back, they'll work it out themselves. Now we have another truck line. This will be our depot to grab some delivery. And it can go yellow. So going from there to here. And now this one, we do want to wait for a full load because it's going into the city. Um, and again, because it's at the depot, we're just going to let them take anything from here. Let's buy a new truck. This one has a mission 70. This one is a bit quieter, so we're going to use it for going into town. Bright yellow, food delivery line. So let's press play. So we should see our train come out. We should see this. Oh wait, we haven't connected this end yet. We've done all of that, all of those other places, and I missed this first bit. Right when. There we go. So now that's connected to there. So this will work out that it has to send to the food processing plant. And we'll put some grain out on the station. Right, here's our grain train moving. Our trucks should be moving. Uh, they won't have much to do initially. Right, let's go on fast forward. Date speed, a half, sure, whatever. We don't really care about that. So that will get us food into Gladstone, and Gladstone is the only food consumer. Um, so that's like basically our food done. Um, we want to get our, our rail line working. How we're going to do that um, is by uh, getting this oil down here. So crude to oil, oil into um, our terminal on a ship around to fuel then the fuel back to here, and then we're going on a train up to Hobart. So whilst our food over there is doing its thing, did we tell this to wait? Manage line didn't. Wait for up to a minute for a full alert. Because this one isn't a hub line, we're going to be specific about what we want. And at the sidings, load nothing, unload grain. Okay, so we've started making bread. Here's our truck, just pulled in, picked up our first 22 bread. We don't want that there anymore. It's just there to get this working. Okay, I will fast forward this again as we set up our oil uh, rail connections. Looks like this section is pretty low to the water. Minus one meter.
think we might redo this corner. Okay, so what did we do while we were fast forwarding? Um, we built our uh, oil brood pickup over here with a delivery to the refinery and we connected the refinery down here to Gladstone, uh, the hub. And now we need to get a corresponding ship terminal over here. Now this bit of river is quite narrow, so what we're going to do is do a bit of um, major landscaping work, like so, which will let us build a ship terminal, we say two, we don't want two sticking out, we want two side by side. We probably won't even want to. We probably only need one terminal. We're going to build two anyway. Uh, just because I prefer the look of it. So maybe let's go here. Here we go. Let's get rid of that entirely. But will let us build on the side like that. That's nice. It won't let me put um, docks on there. So if we do a bit more major. That's now, we've got this here, we've got two docks, kind of looks a bit cool. Now we need to bring everything back to ground level on the outside. Like that, and then let's smooth this up a bit. So, so it's clearly a, a man-made dugout in the river, uh, which makes sense, it's a port. But it doesn't incredibly terrible either. Which is one of the goals. Let's just smooth out a bit here behind the port, so we can get a road in there. And then we need to connect that road to this road, like so. And then let's smooth everything out again. Okay, so we have a little port here for our fuel. Wonderful. Right, let's define our lines now. We're going to start at the end of our package. We've got a ship line. This will be the depot to, oops, depot to fuel to the, back to the depot. Right, let's actually call it depot, oil, fuel, depot. Got the depot line, we're going to call it pink. Well, these are all going to be depot lines, maybe let's call it orange. So we'll go from there. 
Waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go. Now over here it's decided to put them in port 8. I don't understand how these are numbered, but we want port 9 right at the end there. And then over here, uh, yeah, that port works. It's connected to fuel good. Now we need our, so we're going backwards, we need our wheel to the depot line. This will be a rail line. Up wheel to the depot. Color it a pinky type color. So we're going from Gladstone Central over to there. Right, it's brought it straight in. Have I not signaled? I haven't signaled these yet. Oops. So signal there. And at this end going back. Wonderful. And then over here. We need to sit there. That brings our signals to there. We can do them going back. We need a signal pre-junction and post-junction. So that one brought them around to this junction. I'm happy with that. And then from there, I don't actually think we want any signals through here. We do want to signal this side though. Because we don't want anything messing messing that up. Okay, so that looks a bit better. Now here we're gonna come in at Gladstone onto platform 12. Y12? Seem like a good idea. And we're only going to leave with full cargo. We're going to wait two minutes for that. We've got a lot of grain here waiting. Maybe this train needs an upgrade. A few more Carriages. So it has a rate of 545. This is producing at 400, so that should be better now. And our truck here, a rate of 69. We're producing at 99. So I think we probably want another truck there. Right down here, we've got a only one truck load worth waiting. And we've got a it's a bit more because they're only 25. I think we might put another truck on there as well. Gladstone, they're happy with the food they're getting. Look, they've even started to build out a little bit here. So our truck stop there. We're missing some of these food parts down the end here. So we're going to shift the truck stop already. I think because of the shape of the city, we're not going to get, get all of it in one, one foul swoop. So let's just put in there. Let's upgrade these streets again. That one, that one, and that one. Let's take out all of these traffic lights that the game felt necessary to put in. And we're going to change this line to after Sparks Terrace stop at Gunny Place, since you're driving past there anyway. Wonderful. Look at these cars. Maybe we need to get a bus route in here. But we're not dealing with that today because this bringing home bacon. 250 waiting there. Let's pause. Make this 200. Now 
like that's probably partly because of um we've just upgraded it but yeah this won't this won't change until it's um until we get down here since this is the only food area okay where were we up to we had our oil actually going to change this platform to the other one so it has a straight exit. And lastly we've got to get the crude into the oil. It's another rail line. This will be crude oil to the oil. And let's color it our normal blacky type color. So it's there to there. Has it done something clever? Gladstone South Platform 2, Gladstone Central Platform 1, Gladstone South, we want to wait for full loads for, let's say, a minute. Now we need a way of getting trains onto this line. And I think we're going to do that. Down here is where we're going to have our train building building. Let's put you there. So if you come across here. I don't know. Let's stop back a bit. Maybe there. Go back this way. Okay, I'm happy with that. We will signal this up. There. These ones, we don't we won't worry about signaling the main track. Okay, we also need a shipyard. Let's build our shipyard. Across the road, maybe right next to the hub. Uh, now let's put it across the river. Why? I don't know why. But we need to get our trains on there first. We're going to go with this guy again. He's our workhorse. Uh, tank cars. 100 to start. Seems okay. Color it to that grey type color. That crude oil to oil. Let's buy a second one. Color it that pinky type color onto our oil to depot line. So you can see this has started putting out oil. Now we're, now we're moving oil. Thirty-two. That's pretty fast, but it can't take oil. Three. That's a lot of oil, but let's go viola. Uh, just go with one to start. Color. Is that like an orangey type color? New oil to oil. about right. That was pretty good to start. And the rate on that line will be 200. I guess that's okay as well. So that will give us time to uh, process that oil. And then by the time we get down here, this should back, be back to around 100. It looks like it will. Seems like we guessed that. Uh, pretty good to start. Okay, that's still okay. This is still okay. Our bread pickups here are still okay. The bread over here. I think they're all working okay. Now our ship line only has a rate of 71. And it needed to be 
200, which means we're going to need another two ships. There we go. So they will split up over time. We should manage this line. Gladstone port. We're going to wait for a full load. Wait a long time for a full load. And at Gold Coast, the other end, we'll just bring back what's there. Nothing special. But then once we get the fuel back, we need to get it up to Hobart. You'll remember that we built this track here earlier going underneath. Not coming out here, with this guy here. We need to connect. What's going on here with the track? Why are they separated? sometimes happens when you build long bits of track that they don't properly um, okay so they're still separate there okay so it still thinks they're separate here too So we're going to need a way to... Wait, no, we were trucking things into there. So I don't actually think this line here that we put through will be used for goods. It will probably just be passengers. Which means these two lines... Maybe if we start there... What do we get if we come around to there? 200, okay, that seems okay. That is better than a bridge. Draw this guy in. So we're not going to have through cargo tracks. They're just going to stop there. But we need through cargo track. Is the thing for us to be able to get trains up onto this end, uh, especially anything that doesn't go through the depot. So, how can we do that? The way we're going to do that, I think, is make this a giant triangle. So, under here, let's just come over here and get rid of those signals for now. Put them back in now that we've got more track to compare with, so we can see where the next signal locations are. I think what we're going to do is branch. Maybe back here. I'm, I'm hesitant about that junction and this junction but I want to give more space down to that junction so let's branch here I'll put it on the road so let's branch there so 
over to here somewhere. Come back a bit, maybe there. And then started branching there. So we can bring the parallel track around to there. In terms of our signalling, we want that to stay the same. We will signal this side here like so. Our fuel line isn't making us money, but everything else is doing really well. But which is kind of about what we expected. He's smashing it out of the park. This guy smashing it out of the park. Wait, he must have had uh, oil on there. We should have put oil in there and start producing, but we haven't got this other end set up yet. Which is why it's... Um, not sending fuel back. So over here. Do you want do you want me to go this way? Around to there. And then from here. Where did it go? There. Around to there. So that gives us a giant triangle for our train tracks uh, in and out of the hub. So anything that wants to avoid it can, uh, and our cargo can dip under the passenger line and head over to our cargo areas, avoiding Blindstone. Okay, let's just fix some of this terrain. Uh, I think that one's probably okay. Move this out a bit. Let's move that out a bit more. I do like when the the tunnel entrance gets lost in the like in, amidst trees. Okay, and then up here in Hobart, we need a. Passengers, like our residents, are on this side of town. And they're going to grow this general direction. So we really want our train station over here somewhere. And it's going to be a giant honkin train station going to be mixed passenger and cargo. Okay, so let's maybe put it out here. There's that other one over there. We actually might just truck that to here. So let's make this a terminal. Let's use this to start it and then we'll turn it into a terminal. Okay, we'll give the city plenty of room to grow. Put this out here. And configure. And we don't want your buildings down the side. We want passenger building, big one at the end. that'll work. Let's just see how it... Maybe we don't want one that big. Because it takes up half of our cargo. Uh, medium main building. That's better. And then 
large cargo building, no, it's too big. Medium cargo building, a bit small. Um, we can put like a. Ooh, what if instead of doing that? We did a cargo with a single platform in the middle. Yeah. Okay, let's get these tracks in. Um, cargo platform down the middle. They have a very different aesthetic and they clip. Wonderful. Okay, I will. Now we'll fast forward again um, as I set up all of our lines here. There we have it, the uh, train line built. Uh, the tracks here caused a bit of a hassle, they're not quite symmetric, but they will do the job. Let's put some signals back in here. I also uh, fully populated that cargo. Oh, sorry, the passenger lines as well. Uh, that's just just to keep them, keep them there. We don't really, really need them at all. We probably won't even need two. I know there's two things to be delivered here. We will need two platforms. That's fine. Oh, then we need to deliver from here into the city. So let's get the street. I'll go with a big street here. Is that not level? Let's just level out some area around here. Now look, the fox was levitating. Hello Mr. Fox. We want a bus lane here, just in case cars. Oh, yeah, that's what I need to do. Down here, we really should have bus lanes for our trucks to do the city, just to give them a, a priority route. Taking the bus lane there. Manage line. So let's remove Sparks Terrace and we'll add it back in. I still don't want to use that bus lane. I don't know why. Maybe they'll sort it out themselves later. At least we've given it to them now. Well, this has a lot of bread piling up. So I think. We need another truck on there. So that's 174 now. That truck increased there a bit. Uh, two. Oops, that's the same line. 200. 117. I think we need another truck to manage it. 27, that's pretty close. That will help those. Our oil down here. We've got nearly double the amount of oil that our train can move. Already waiting. So let's increase 
to our train size. I don't know why, but still shipping 400. Don't know. This isn't going to really pick up until we get this fuel starting being delivered. Which we're, we're getting close to doing down here. So down here, we need a truck depot. Let's build the truck depot off to uh, where we build the truck depot. Maybe we can build a road down the side of the station. Inside our cargo area, and we're going to put our cargo pickup location. Let's configure this. And the entrance is on the right. Expand that. I guess not one more, because we do want to control the road going in. Go to the left a bit. We want our exit. To the city. And this will we'll make this our main our main street. Like so this will be a side street. Don't want traffic lights on any of these junctions. So it decimated the city population. So it's. Wait, how is it at 250? That makes no sense. It started at like 50 or 100. 594. Probably because they're getting food. And from here, we want our. Our highway road out here to connect into that. Uh, yes, I'll give this one bus lanes. Sure, that will do. And then we want to add bus lanes down this main street and on this side street because we're going to drop off our fuel. Right there. Wait, how did that side street not get upgraded with the rest? Weird. Okay, so this will be a truck line. It will be Hobart. Um fuel delivery. My brain didn't work there for a minute. Make it orange. It goes from the truck stop to truck stop. At Hobart West we want to wait for a full load. We don't want to be driving into the city if we've got nothing on board. And then out here, let's just fix this before it gets 
let's see. So we want to do that. And then from that, oh, you won't let me drill that on there. Drill that from there. Sure, whatever. Super annoying. It is what it is. Okay, so out here, the reason we did that is that we're gonna build our truck depot out here. Bang out onto the main road. Again, we don't need lights. So that's the truck line like the delivery line done. Now we just need the line uh, to the station. So this will be a rail line. It will be the depot to Hobart. All right, we'll color it the next purple shade. And we're going from here to here. Does that make sense? Ooh, bigger buses, sure. Now at Gladstone, we want to just take what's there. So this will get pretty hairy in here, but it should be okay. If it doesn't, we might have to split it out. I don't actually know find out together. So, this end we want a fuel truck. Uh, just do. And then we want our fuel train. We're gonna go with our old So much more expensive. Let's not put much capacity on there to start with, um, just because there's not much to use. So this should slowly start to work out that it has to send fuel to Hobart, which it has, um, and it should start putting that out on the station. Soon enough. So we're not backing up on how much oil we have waiting here. We are backing up in our crude here. Interesting. In that case. Oh, that's because I put the wrong things on there. Let's just take this out to 320 meters then. Okay, that'll be why it didn't, this didn't fix it. Yes, see, greater 1200. This one you get up to 1200. That one train will do the job. This keeps running out of oil. So that will slowly... Um, get fuel up to here. And we can see that it started putting some out on the platform. Bringing in a nice chunk of oil. So the way I expect these will generally work is that this ship will drop off oil, um, this will process it, and then the next ship will be there to, to pick it up. See, he's He's only got 16 for you to take back. Over here, 54. He missed out on everything entirely. Maybe we need a longer wait there. We're saying wait three minutes. It's an awfully long wait as it is. And they're kind of nicely... Not quite. Maybe if we add one more, it'll be a bit more nicely split up.
So he's going 600. This line, not quite 600. So let's add one more gondola. Should do the job. 632. So these are all our new lines of fuel delivery. Our ships aren't making money, they will when they start bringing fuel back. I mean, our two oil lines not doing so great. Just because they haven't been able to ramp up uh, production yet that you need uh, for trains to pay off. Okay, so that is two lines uh, of our train station here being used. Oops, this one. We've got two platforms at our cargo being used. Only one ship. Now we are. The goods are made over here. Goods are a hard thing to make. This copy goes nowhere. So let's just get rid of it. And the other thing is machines. Machines are also a multi step process and they come from over here. This alcohol has nowhere to go, so we're going to remove it as well. Same with this fish. It's one of the downsides of playing with um, uh, some of the mods. You like it, if you pick small uh, starters, you don't quite get. Seventy-one. I guess this hasn't gone up to full rate yet. Because we marked up with the, the train before. But this should be not quite full. It'll get there. Okay, I reckon that the last thing we're going to do uh, for this video is put in our passenger stuff for Hobart and Gladstone. And in that time, hopefully, some of this fuel I think is on this ship will start to uh, make its way up into Gladstone. This next ship coming back, 49 fuel, so yeah, it's definitely it's definitely picking up. 71. It's worked out at everything it needs. Um, and passengers require bus, uh, buses and then the train itself. So in terms of where we're going to put that train station... I mean, we don't really want to put it on the passenger side of the city, which is where that line indicates it would end up. Let's bring it into this street here. Um, so we want to upgrade this street and then extend it across to there. And then we want a passenger station, two platform passenger station. bus depot. Maybe we'll put the bus depot in first, just so that we can see how much space it uses. So I'm going to bus depot here.
train station right next door. We do need to connect all of these roads in. If we could get them all into one intersection, that would be wonderful. Narrow angle. Probably can't. In which case, we're just going to have. Ooh, that worked. Can we get this one in here? Probably going to need to waypoint all of these. Okay, now where can our bus routes go? We might have one coming up to this north half and one servicing the south half. Or we might just start with one giant loop for everything. Okay, let's put a bus stop there. Let's put a bus stop. See, I'm trying to not have these overlap with each other. Like my truck and bus routes, but I think they might have to a little bit. So there, we put one here, say, and maybe one out here, and then we'll fill back in this street. It will mean Bus line. This is Glad and Buses. Colored blue green. We're going one, two, around here like this. Done. That says already put another junction in there to make new traffic lights. I didn't upgrade this road all the way through. That's silly. Let's do that now. Sorry people who had their high rises destroyed. Look, that one demolished in front of our eyes. 
for the rebuilding. I'll work it out. Okay, so all of our food seems to be going reasonably well. Our oil is leveling up, that's excellent. Station, no. We've got a little bit of oil there waiting. We've got some fuel here waiting, but there's a boat there. I think that's kind of working now as well. I'm surprised. Okay, let's get our buses put in. Let's get our train line put in. Down in Hobart. And largely nothing should ever use them. But they're there uh, mostly for... Where's the other line? Why don't you connect in properly? Whatever. They're mostly there for the passenger trains uh, when we spawn them in our shop down there uh, to get onto the passenger line. And we also need to set up buses uh, for our passengers up here in Hobart. Uh, remembering what we just learnt when we did it at the other location. Let's flatten this area. Let's put in right here. Bigger. Uh, that's the exit side. Again, we'll give it lots of Platforms that we don't have a plan for yet. But in theory, we will have a plan for if we ever come back and play this map again. See, that's what I wanted to do at the other end. It wouldn't let me. I 
think that will kind of work. Uh, waypoints. We we'll probably need to waypoint all of those. Nice. And now in Hobart itself, let's put a bus route. Um, let's stop over here. Let's stop here. And then here maybe. Then over there. Maybe once up there. Let's go back into the middle. Back out to the side again, maybe down here. New line, buses, Hobart, buses. Uh, green, so we're going from there. Oh, I didn't fix up the roads. Interesting, it's not taking that loop. We do need to fix up some of these roads first. So we want to go straight across there. All of these want a bus lane. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Collision. What are you colliding with? No sense. And then that part there. It won't let me upgrade this bit. Because of the bus stop for some reason. Oops, I think we want to shift it back a bit. line after door knock to bunny work. How is that a different strip whatever? Okay there is our bus route. Is it a good one? No. But it's a sufficient one. Okay let's get some of these on there. Blue or green. Go down here. Did we put buses on the line? We did not. So. Uh, sure, five, why not? Uh, green. Go. So hopefully we'll start to see. Oh, there we go. And we've already decided they want to take our bus. Now we just need the rail line. Right. We need a rail line. Uh, we want Axe, Gladstone, now let's go dark green. We want to go from there and to there. I'll approve of that end. This and the platform two as well. Done. Now we just need to put a train on there. That has a We've got a bit of fuel piling up here. And he's, he's still managing. That little tiny train. That little tiny train. It's just 
put another one on there just to uh, satisfy. At least it's got um, a bit of spare capacity. He's doing well. This is doing pretty well. Trucks here are doing okay. These trucks are doing okay. This oil. I think he's managing. This end is going. Okay, I suppose. Let's just leave it. Right, we do want a passenger train. So that's only limited to a hundred. What other passenger trains have we got? Two forty. The thing we have to remember is that we don't have a giant. Guy, capacity 23. I guess we'll take the bigger ones. Let's make it as long as oh, 253 capacity. Sure, we're being a bit silly with it. Why not? Uh, go. Right, so that's our passenger train. So we should start seeing people want to go to the station now. We've got people down here using our buses, which is good. Some are turning up over here. We've got some at the station. Excellent. Here we've got several wanting to catch the bus, which is nice. No one at the station yet, but they'll get there. Okay, so I think we've kind of done okay on this eastern... I don't even remember which side is north. Let's say Hobart is north, even though in reality it's south. If we were to make this kind of north, it should have to look this way, because Gladstone is the most north in Australia, then Hobart... Ah, uh, then Gold Coast, then Hobart is the most south. I think the map spawned us this way. So on this, like, northeastern seaboard, we've kind of done okay. We've got some oil uh, moving through our hub. Our ships are... they're slow, but they're ramping up. And our Hobart demand over here seems to be doing okay. What we've got... Got a fair bit there now. I think we might want to actually put a second truck on there, finally. Look at all these people want to catch our bus. Now they can wait. Maybe we will just put a, like a high speed one into the center. New line. Bus. Hobart Center Express. Uh, let's color it this darkish type green. It goes from there to there.
Yep, I approve of all of that. Let's let's just put two buses on there for now. There you go. We should expect to see a lot more uh, queue up here to go directly to the station. So here's our passenger passenger train. It's got 23 people on board already. There's only the one of them. I'm just going to follow it along because I like riding on the, the trains like this. Gladstone. Look at all those people waiting to go. Considering there's no way to drive between the cities, we have kind of uh, cheated them into being forced to take our public transport. Um, but that's okay. I think. It's our little bridge that we spent ages working on before. And we're just going to ride this back up to... Over. These are our crossing tracks. There's a little oil train. I've got them all waiting now. Well, we've got 74 going back. Nice. So they're unhappy with the fuel they're getting. I think most of it should be covered by that drop location. I think we just don't have enough. Um, like it hasn't ramped up enough. We're still not taking full ships of oil. So this is about to go up to 400. I think we might want to add... some more capacity there. Oops, wrong colour. Eventually we're going to need to get that to this plastic factory. We'll probably just truck that, actually. Then to get plastic back to our terminal here, we would need to have more trains coming down here, that's fine. But we need more platforms here. And we've still got to get this coal out eventually. Well, that's coal 2. Steel mill 2. Probably because we built it after that other one. Well, let's just change the name. Done. Oh, okay, here's a full. That's a lot of oil turning up here. Let's look at this hundred and. See, it took 140 and there's yeah, I think it will it will catch up eventually. That oil here 107. Okay, so this train really needs to what does it think we're sending? 
173. Yeah, this guy really needs to... Needs to be a bit bigger. So what does that do? 268. That should be enough, since it was only 170 something. Look at all our passengers here waiting. We got a lot on that centre line. Let's give them another bus. We got a lot of passengers waiting here as well. 50 odd. I might get a second passenger train. So why not? I mean, our passenger train already was making a slight profit. Um, so that was probably silly, but I wanted to do it anyway. That oil train, or like our fuel transport train, still making a loss. Um, but hopefully that will start to pick up um, as we start to get more fuel demand here in Hobart to make the train worthwhile. I think with that, there's 350, where's our train? Still back here unloading. Wait, so you're telling me nine seven six? telling me that one train can't handle it all. So each of those is 20. And 20 was giving us a rate of about 50 each. Which means we'd need 24. So if we were to buy another one of these and put 12 cars on the back. Oh, look, we've got a lot, whole lot of stuff then. Buy, colour that that grey colour, put it on our oil line, and then this one, let's edit to bring it back to 12 as well. Yep, so that's 13.02. So that will mean that it's taking less... Um, less oil, but it's doing it more frequently. It should hopefully help. Especially once these two separate a bit, so that they're not um, colliding on the tracks. It's 240 now. That rate is 252. This really needs... ...to be a lot bigger. There he is, look at him pulling in. Gonna take a whole lot of oil now. Probably too much for over here. So our ships are going at a rate of 361. Wait, they don't wait. Why don't they wait? They should be waiting there. You see, it looks like that looks like it's full. Yeah, 
Here's this other train coming, 351 it ended up with. That's still a reasonable amount. Okay, these getting through here. They kind of are now. Like it's it's not super over overly um, um what's the word? I can't think of the word. Okay, so our passengers are losing us money now. Which is what we expected. That other oil line is losing us money because we just upgraded it. Uh, it should start, yeah, like 10 million there. Not only our passenger line is losing us money now. So if we put in 321, and like these platforms just can't hold that much, which is silly. Like there are ships that can take 350. But the capacity of a platform isn't that big. What? I just want to see. Let's just pin that. I just want to see how far that will go down. It's going to go down to 250 or 240. One, two, three, four. Like there's seven tanks there. Like it kind of settled at 253. It kept going down. I don't know. That ship didn't take everything. We've got another train on the way with 258. So again, we will see. Uh, we're going to sell one of those passenger trains. Two was overzealous. But he managed to pick up everything, waiting for a free par, sure. Must be around 250, 240. Um, are they happy down here? I'm happy that the route hasn't changed. And up here, still looks okay. central bus line is really killing it. Our other line making a slight profit, but that middle one is is really where they're doing well. I do think we need another truck on there. So is that? We probably need to wait for our passenger things to like cycle over to the next year. Um, the costs to uh, properly catch up so back to like this kind of thing but I think our yeah, ship line now yeah, making a reasonable amount of money because it can like it's not full both ways 
but at least it's being utilized in both directions. Got a lot of food stacking up there. Put another truck on. Got a little bit of food down here as well. We normally need to keep them one for one. And a lot of passengers here waiting. Where's that train? Here he comes. Okay, so you can see it only reached 170. I think everything now, everything now making a profit, about as good as you can get. seems to have resolved with just two smaller trains instead of one big boy. Uh, oil here, that seems to still be managing okay. Ships are slow, but we know ships are slow. It's weird how they cut around that corner like that. I think I'm going to do that just to make that corner a little bit nicer. Let's jaggy. Could probably do the same over here too. Oops, this tool to come around like that, and then smooth it off. Nice. Oh, look, he's taking a lot wider line around there. I don't understand why they like zip back and across like that. It's no sense. Can I do it down this side as well? Yeah. Whatever. Look, Gold Coast needs... Okay, this is useless. Not goods and machines. Maybe we will come back and play this in a, um, a second episode. I don't know. But I think... As we always do, let's find one of our vehicles to ride. We're going to ride our oil train uh, out to end the video. Right, keep it going uh, like super fast, super fast speed until it starts to depart, and then we'll slow it right down. We don't really want to be sitting here just... Maybe we do. Maybe it is realistic. Yeah, we can sit, sit here like this. There's our other oil train that's bringing the oil in. The crude oil in. It's getting refined in the refinery over there. And then... Uh, this train... That takes it out. I mean, you're never going to look at these that close, but look at the detail on the carriages. You could just have them as like cylinders um, with some bogies and most people probably wouldn't even, uh, even notice. Look how ugly this is around here. We need to smooth this out. How long are we actually going to be sitting on this train for? 
I don't have an answer to that question. It feels like it's forever. Okay, I'm tired of waiting. Let's speed it up. Come on, go, 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 go. Move, 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 move. Nah, nah, nah. There we go. It doesn't really matter which side of the train you sit on. We sit on the left. Just so that we don't clip into the ground and oops. And we get there later. Um, but this is how it goes at as it's coming in, we can look at some of the things that the driver can see on the way. Still, still not very much to look at. Not very much at all. It seems to take a while to accelerate up to speed as well. Um, because it's got so much oil on board. need a different train for this one like a, a one that's a bit more powerful even if it has a slightly lower top top speed uh, just to um, get it moving a bit faster some of these shadows are a bit weird probably because I have to turn the visual settings down a bit um, so that we can record at the same time um, but that was a nice little forest that we got to go through now some open fields. Is that a, I was gonna say is that a plane, but we haven't built any plane, so it has to be a bird. You could see that tunnel up entrance up there before. So here's our split off to the right um, for our bread um, and grain lines. Go up that way. Now we go underneath. Well, there's our split right. Uh, if we want to continue up to Probar. Hmm, that's a bit weird how it does some of that groundwork, but we'll just take it. See, we're still in the 95, and we're most of the way there. I do think we probably need to change this engine next time we play. We need to have one with possibly a lower top speed and more acceleration. And now here we're coming into our hub. So it goes across to the left and it goes all the way to the left. Oops. It's a lot of cabling. into the uh, hub here. And that's the journey that it takes. Oh, we got that super fast train as well. So if we were to come in here and just look at this. So what have we got currently? VR246. So 240 kilowatts, 2,000 kilowatts. So this one's a lot more powerful. This one's slower, again a lot more powerful. Slower again, even more powerful. So I don't think I'd want to go that far. One of these other ones was 120, 160. So if we remove that and add this guy on there, we we'll put it at the front. We did. Right, let's modify that. Right, we'll 
color it pink again. What's it doing there? And, and hopefully uh, that will help it out just to uh, get moving a little bit faster. seems to be working well, the fuel up here seems to be working well, the bread here seems like it's going down which is good, we don't want our bread going stale sitting over there, this isn't really going down, so let's add another truck on there. Does it put traffic lights in all around here? Oh, I probably can't control them. Oh well. It is, that is what it is. So this will have a ship port somewhere. Probably a bit far. We might need to dig in again like we did here. This will have a ship port. I don't even know where it's going to there. Well, that'll be nice. stone into here, then truck it out to here, and then truck it straight into there. Goods are up there. How are you going to get anything to there? How are we going to get anything to there? because our cargo lines are on the opposite side. We might need to put a station in here. Uh, a little split off. I guess so. I don't know. We keep talking about it. We'll work it out. Uh, thank you everyone for stopping by today. and I do appreciate it. It's probably been a pretty long episode now. Um, and with more editing than normal because of our fast forwards and, and whatnot. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching us build our uh, cargo terminal. We'll zoom in. There's a way to turn off all these icons, isn't there? There we go. Uh, into our cargo. Ooh, we can come right even better. Yeah, maybe like that. Look at that. There we go. That's pretty nice. Uh, thank you, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.